Hey guys, Stealth here. It's episode 7 of the Climb Mountain Rodnia campaign and I have to think long and hard about what I'm going to do next. I have a battle in Nagasaki coming up and I don't really have a lot of forces there. If you've seen the previous episodes you know that I don't really have a solid landing force. I have two units which have the capacity to land and that's about it. And I still don't have a land reinforcement route so I still don't have control over Nagasaki. The moment that I do, I can start to bring in reinforcements there and make sure that this area is getting secured. Now at the same time, I had to give up Yamaguchi, and that's because my AA situation is crap. So my first priority right now is to get some more AA units involved and try and figure out how I'm going to defend against these continuing waves of aircraft. Because I got helicopters in Yamaguchi, consisting of 8 Super Cobras, so these things are also quite dangerous against my aircraft. I have an attack group of Apaches in uh, Marugame, down south here. And then of course there's the 3rd Airborne Battalion, which also carries a couple of AH-1S helos. So all in all, I've got plenty to worry about. Let's just put it like that. Now, I also have a few tanks that I can push into Marugame and try to capture this island because capturing this island gives me another 15 command points from Nankoku. I could do that in a sort of double tap form. I could land another group from the Kuznetsov at the same time as pushing into Marugame. The thing is, I need my AA and I need a lot of it. So the first priority is going to be to get my AA position fixed. And let's see, these Super Cobras are armed with TOW 2s. Um, I do have helos which are carrying MH24V, so uh, Iglas, but they have a lesser range, I believe, than the Super Cobras. Super Cobras have a 2800 meter range versus my 2625, so my helos alone cannot take care of that attack group. So I'm going to send my best AA units towards the west. Let's see, I believe there is one group. Yeah, this one has six per users. Between those, they should be able to take care of the little birds, the Apaches, and anything else that they can find. The independent tank regiment I have used quite extensively. You can see I only have two T-72B1s left, but they do have Tungushkas. So this group I don't really have to worry about. It's just that they're a slow group because they don't have a lot of initiative. So, um, let's see, this group didn't carry any AA. What I'm coming up against are tanks, quite a few of them, and infantry. So anything that carries ATGMs, Factorias, well, they're both pretty much the same group composition. 390th. These, though, are Strela 10Ms, which have 12 missiles, versus 2Ms, which only carry 4 missiles. Now, I'm not too worried about this sector getting attacked just yet, so I'm going to send these west and try to have them help out there. The 319th Haley or Hello Regiment can also try and attack EO, which means that if I capture this area, they will have no position to flee back to. Let's see, this thing only... Yeah, it's a three-way zone. You can go anywhere from Marugame, which is not good news. But these things are pretty easy to take care of, so I don't really need to kill them off right now. Let's see, this Hilo group cannot make it all the way into Nankoku, which is not recommended because they have an anti-aircraft company. As well as quite a few infantry units. Let's see. Landing a tank group here would take care of pretty much all of these units pretty fast, except for the AH-1Ss. The thing is, I don't have the points to land a tank group, nor do I have a tank group. <laughs> um... Let's see, this was the Kuznetsov. I have an independent naval brigade. VDV. Ooh, Igla Ns. Look at that, that's a lot of Igla Ns. I don't think that there were supposed to be that many. Okay, I'm going to wait another turn and save up for this group so I can buy those and deploy the AA. That should fix the entire AA situation on this island. At the same time, I'm going to be pushing with the VDV regiment towards the west. And it's going to be a very, very large concentration of forces here, so that I can do one major push south into Marugame. Let's see, I don't think though... Yeah, these guys have 12 Iglas, they're alright. That means I can also send these other two Iglas west, because no matter where they attack right now, I can defend myself. 
I have one recon company that I don't really need to deploy right now. So I think I can just focus on Nagasaki for now. Let's see, still only got Naval Sector Lima. I need to capture one of these command zones, Kumamoto or all the way up in the North Karatsu. I think Kumamoto is the best option. Um, a naval force that I can land, which is coming in a naval unit, the Yuking, is a BTR-70K. Now what I'm dealing with is 21 tanks, a lot of supports, quite a bit of infantry, and some recon. They don't have an air force anymore, but they do have a defense against air defense, or against my aircraft, so I cannot really use my aircraft safely. That means that these 24, or these uh, 21 tanks, which carry 11 armor penetration and 15, are going to go up against my T-55 AM-2s, preferably at long range, so that I can deploy a lot of these Bastion missiles. And with that, I hope to capture Kumamoto quickly. These things are all going to come floating in, so I'm going to do a pretty much inland push along this river and try and deploy a command unit right there. I will also be trying to hold Naval Sector Lima because I need this zone in order to bring in more units. At least so long as... The what the? Well... That was unexpected. I can deploy the 3rd Guards Tank Division. And I can deploy those directly on the Japanese soil. What do they have? Oh yes. T-80s. And I could probably deploy those right onto Nagasaki if I wanted to. Look at that. T-80BVs. Now we're talking. And some T-80As. Also got a heavy artillery company of 8 peon artillery pieces. And a supply company of four FOBs and eight MI-26s. Unfortunately, I cannot deploy those things right now. But what I can do is use the remaining points and refit what I have. And what I cannot refit, I'll put either on R&R &R or uh, fix up some other way. But for now, it looks like I just... I don't know. I have no clue why they pulled out of Nagasaki. They had a good defensive position there. Uh, what I can do is have these tanks attack into another position. Let's see, this is a group that consists of 32 tanks, 1 CV. They do have a decent amount of cohesion. No recon, though. What kind of zone is Karatsu? Because I'm considering trying to take this. I'm going to come in from Nagasaki. They have anti-tank units, and a lot of them. And quite a few infantry units. Yeah, it's going to be suicide sending in these attack groups, or this one, the 8th, 84th Naval Battalion, without escorts. Because without recon, they're screwed. But I gotta say, I'm very, very surprised that they pulled out of Nagasaki like that. No clue why they did that. Now, since this VDV regiment is not doing anything at the moment... I'm going to refit it to make sure it has all of its units. Oh, I only lost one. I should have uh, R&R'd it. Okay. Now, that means there's only one airport I need to capture, and that's all the way down south. But first, U.S. helicopter company is attacking. And that is actually what I wanted to have happen, because now they're going to fly into a lot of Iglas, and that's not something that Little Birds, OH-58CSs, and Apaches are very good at. I have most of the zones. They have Delta and Marugame. They have a lot of infantry, so some tanks or something like that would be useful, and I have the T-72As to deal with that. Also got the Tungushkas, so there's pretty much nothing that these guys can do that I'm um, going to be defenseless against. Just have to keep my forces together. A couple of napalmers, recoilless rifle units. Yeah, I'm going to set up a defensive position in Bravo, in Foxtrot, um, as well as in Hiroshima and Masuda, in order to keep command of those reinforcement zones. The only command units that they have are Mitsubishis, so they're going to be coming over land. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I might need my FOB, so I'm going to hide that right there. One BTR command vehicle there, 
Infantry with Iglas. Look at that, they're even carried by Scrajets. That's even better. Couple there. Um, let's see a couple here. And there. I don't need to deploy too many of them, or I shouldn't deploy too many of them, because I'm at risk of either losing them or not having enough points to deploy anything else. So let's face it, they still have a lot of infantry units that they can deploy. And in order to counter that, I can deploy Concours. But they're going to need FOB, so let's relocate the FOB here. Let's see, if they're going to come in from Marugame, I can only spot them once they pass this tree line anyway. So I might as well deploy my ATGM units right there. Like that. If the Helos do escort them, I want to have to fence against that. Let's deploy a Reki unit right in the middle there. Um, command infantry would be ideal. Something like that. A couple of T-72As. I don't need the veteran ones. They just need to be trained up a little bit. I'm going to hold on to Fedor in order to get more income. Let's see here. They already got Scratchheads that flank. Um, or actually, Igla's that flank, I should say. One there. And most of it's going to be based on movement. These things could be really effective at nailing the command vehicles as they're going to pop up. Let's deploy you right there in that tree line. And in order not to get caught off guard at one of the command zones that I haven't secured, I'm going to leave one BMD-2 with an infantry group there. That's all. Let's see, then I can deploy... I could deploy a Tungushka. Okay, oops. Tra get that thing trained up a little bit. Yeah, why not? Those tanks are the most important thing. Or the helos. So, command, command. Not a lot of defense there, though. I need to be aware of anything that they're going to throw at me in advance. This should do. Close the unit viewer. Offload the command. Offload all the AA situation units. There you go. There. And apparently they decided to capture the middle area here. Which is interesting. They also captured Marugame. We got contacts. Transports. That's not what I was hoping for. At all. Because now, I don't really have defense against those transports. This means I'm going to relocate the existing T-72s. They're going to get an escort from the Tungushka. Actually, let's just push in. The faster we find that command vehicle, the better. And I can deploy a lot of forces per turn, or per second. 15 income per second. This battle shouldn't be too hard, but I cannot get overconfident. The moment that ha that happens, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, air contacts. One hit. That's the Apaches, all right. Right there. Hit. Tungushka tries to open up, but cannot quite get a shot yet. Apaches do get a shot. Lost one. <coughs> I want Apache down. Tank got hit heavy. Come on. Okay, Apaches are down. Let's get those robots relocated. I need to get the hell away from here. Anything that has a gun should go this way right now. That might mean that there's not a lot going on there. Let's see. Um, get another CV that way. Oh, we're been getting pincered here. Units on every flank. Now the advantage is that I have a pretty good defensive position here. They're going to have to do quite a bit of damage before they go through all of this. I just hope my fob isn't going to get blown up by their artillery. Take care of this uh, Mitsubishi there. Recon has to go. More tanks. Ooh, we're getting napalmed. That's not very nice. I hear that Tukushka opening up. Okay, 
of these guys. See if you can find the command vehicle. Lost my 272 there. The rest of the T-72s are coming in as we speak. More T-72s being brought in. Bit of fun, took quite a bit of damage there. Now the good news is that the Tegrishka is also a miracle worker when dealing with infantry. They can put up so much fire that the enemy infantry is going to have a really bad day. Pushing that way. Let's see, I had sent one north. Yep, okay. There you go. T 72 A's are popping in. Let loose, guys. Let loose. Fortunately, the AI, being brilliant as ever, decided to deploy their forces way outside the town. Which is going to cost them. BMP 2 is completely empty. Uh, KM 132 is first. Those napalm things. Ooh, they're gonna burn the fog. That's not good. These robots are. I suppose they're getting a nice amount of experience here. Oh, snap. There's quite a bit more than I'd expected there. Defend against this. Oh shit. Push. Wonderful. Tanks, tanks, tanks. That's gonna be the solution here. As well as recon. I don't have a lot of that yet. Alright, guys. Get fuel, get ammo, get moving. Still a few there. 900 points still to go. Hang on, if you're coming in from the south, you might as well make yourself useful and go there. Recky. Actually, let's go with an MI-24K. No! Not my Iglas. At the same time, though, they already did their job. Still quite a few transports moving north from that position. Still a lot of concours left here. Oh. Oh, that's just an AA helo. I'm not worried. I'm a bit worried about that CV, though. Get in. Start making your way away from that position. Oh, buddy, you're gonna have a field day taking care of all of that infantry. Enjoy. Damn it. Recoilless rifles must be engaging those T-72s. But I think that their CV's on the move. Somewhere. Start pushing this way. Where's my Tugushka? A lot of transports there, as well as recoilless rifles. Thinning out the infantry there. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Now let's send these tanks north. Or actually east. East is a bit more important right now. BMP-2s can help out here quite nicely. Free fire. That Yak B can be quite effective as well. <laughs> They're not interested in skirmishing with my Tungushka, I suppose. Oop, not that BMP-2. Just trying not to get those Nanas and Sheikis too close. They won't hurt my tanks, but they'll be a bit annoying to my helicopters. Mm, these things are going out of ammo. Good thing I'm keeping those T-72s nearby. Captured Marugame. Oh, hello. What are your plans? Whatever they are, I think we're going to change them. 
Let's get the recon there. Tanks north. Did we get that CV? Scratch ants, maybe? Not sure. Infantry moving about there. Or was. There's the CV. Or at least something of it. This is what I want you to hit right now. Got it. Good job. Recky, AA, hold. Ooh, my ALS not doing too well. It died. Damn. There's another CV moving north. Got it. Hold. Not too close. Not too close. Yeah, we got it. Point wise. Both destroyed. Kills 2,000. Losses. One, ta two tanks to four iglas. That's it. I can live with that. American reinforcements have just landed. Oh yeah. Show me where. Actually, what is the last airport I need to capture? Oh here, yeah, Kanoya. Sent the Kuznetsov south. I want to see what is in Kanoya. Yep, here's the Americans. A lot of infantry regiments. Stingers, riflemen, everything comes in Humvees today. Delta Force, Sheridans. I see a lot of opportunity for my BMPs to go through. And my BMPTs. Mostly those. Okay, so they're going to try and do a counter-offensive on Nagasaki. Wait one, they're pushing back on Nagasaki when they just abandoned it. Yeah, you make absolutely no sense. Let's see, this is the group that has a couple of T-72s that I can use, as well as the BMPTs. I want to bring in those early, so that I can get those anti-infantry units and start pushing towards Kanoya. Now, first up, Tsuyama, what do we have here? Um, one central tank regiment. These guys are brave going up against everything. Gotta give him credit for that. And the AI seems to treat it as a flying unit again. Because they land them right into Delta. Anyway, it's a lot of tanks. 124. However, if I can kill off their command vehicles, and one of them is gonna go to Obama and the other one's gonna go to Masuda, and I have helos to do that, the M24Ks. See, these things aren't that heavily armored. Rocket pod should finish that off. Then, I don't have to worry about these tanks at all. At the same time, they could be nice target practice for T-72s. 13 frontal armor, arm penetration of 8 and 9. They do fire heat though, especially these Nanion Shiki A's. So they're always going to do a bit of damage. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to push a helo around. going to have them cut off the CV that's going to Obama. Push him with tanks from Masuda. And I think we're going to have to push up alongside with a couple of transports, with uh, resupplies. Or I'm going to be running out of ammo for my tanks. It's going to be a bit weird. Moreover, these tanks have to do, uh, my tanks that is, have to do a lot of fighting. Yeah, I have to do a lot of fighting. Because there are so many targets. Let's see, um, yeah, I'm going to put my CV, sorry, not my CV, my FOB here, so that the tanks can get resupplied relatively easily. One CV there, another CV here, last CV that I got is going to go there. Recky, need both the helos, I'm going to deploy those as a sort of attack group. And the rest of it is going to get dedicated into recon and tanks. One recon, that should give me seven tanks. Two, four, six, seven. Go. And now it's going to be one big wait for it. Alright, as expected, they have one CV in Dimitri. They got no AA. So let's go hunting. 
push up a little bit. Let's just make sure we have a decent spacing over this bridge. Recce close. No rocket pods until I tell you to. Let's put this to very fast. Here they come. Here they come. Nanosan Shikis are going to go first. I'm going to kill those things off before anything else comes. Oh! Oh! 130 points. That was a command vehicle. There's the other one. Let's make sure that thing gets nailed before they decide to bring in the entire Japanese tank group. Bit of defenses here. I intentionally waited with deploying defenses because they were going to take a while in order to get to my position. Hang on. Shit, they got it. Tanks are engaging. No major damage yet. They're still moving about though. I think it's fleeing. Yep, there it is. I think it does not like the attention it's getting from my helos. They did spawn in tanks though. The good news, those things have such terrible mobility that they're going to run out of fuel before they can do anything else. Oh, come on. There you go, you got it. Now, let's deal with the other command vehicle. Oh, you guys are getting a bit close. And, yeah, that's the only tank group that took damage. Look at that. <laughs> okay. The one thing I'm worried about is machine guns mounted on tanks. That's all. The rest of it I can easily wipe out. Chugatas. Yeah, you get to live. I'm just after your command vehicle. More Chugatas. Hello. Hello. Oh, I thought that the Yak-B wouldn't go through. Apparently it can. That's interesting. Nail it. Got it. Didn't kill it. Shit. That means there's one more command vehicle somewhere. They didn't have too many of those in, to begin with. Let's deploy more T-70. Oh, not the T-72Bs. That's a bit too much firepower. I know there's no such thing as too much firepower. It's just that I don't need the amount of firepower. Yep. Oh, never mind. What are you? There it is. This thing is armed with an autocannon, though. It would not be the first time that those things nail my helicopters. And I hate it when they do that. Come on. Get yourself a nice 130 point kill. Stunned it. First salvo. Look at that! I would rather not engage that. There you go. That should wipe out that attack group. It didn't? It didn't. Okay. They're pulling back. Well, that was unexpected. Hey! That's mine! Damn it. Okay. So these things think that they're gonna attack on their own. That's cute. They will, of course, this helicopter regiment will, of course, need one escort. Because it doesn't have a command unit. It used to, but they got changed into Spetsnaz 90. What they have left is a detachment of infantry with a bit of artillery. And there's a lot of those going around. A lot of mortars and howitzers. And they're being transported in Nanosan Shikis. Oh, a couple of tanks should finish that right off. But they still have that USMC helicopter company of eight Super Cobras. So I'm going to need those Strelas. And I'm hoping that the Strelas are going to be enough. Oh, snap. I cannot attack Masuda. Shit. <laughs> I thought I could get to Masuda, just move north, but only Helos can do that, not the other ones. 
Well, that's a bit annoying. That means they're going to push right into Totori. Great. Oh, well. Okay, anyway, that's it for episode 7. I'm going to just do Nagasaki and Yamaguchi next turn around. But join me in episode 8 in order to see how that's going to go down. Hope you're enjoying the campaign. I am. Um, gotta say, quite a few unexpected twists and turns here, especially by the AI. But all's good and well on my flank. So I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I could be doing a bit better, but so be it. Anyway, more news and more episodes coming up soon. So join me in episode 9.